So some people say manifesting is up to God, leave it up to God, stop trying to do so much. And then other people say if you don't do it, no one else is going to do it. God gave you powers to work and so work it and make things happen. Well, actually spiritual superstars, neither one of those concepts are totally true and neither one of them are totally wrong. I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy where we help you master your spiritual gifts and spiritual guidance. Before we get started, if you find value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, come on back for more free spiritual guidance by hitting that little bell so you'll be notified. Thank you so much for supporting our mission because we're here to help you in your spiritual awakening. Let's go ahead and get started. The consciousness and oneness of God is all wrapped up in our action to bring what we see in our mind's eye to fruition. We are consciously taking steps every day to make happen the visions, the dreams that we have, the epiphanies, the thoughts, the plan. And we put that plan on paper and we bring it to life through taking steps to work our plan. And so that vision exists within our mind. It is something that's sacred, it's pure, and no one sees it except for you, unless you share it with others. So being consciously aware of your connection with Source, which is the oneness of God, therefore produces your manifested outcome. But you see it initially, through your mind's eye. So what is your mind's eye? Well, your mind's eye is simply your spiritual sight. It is your vision. It is your ability to imagine. And it is your ability to fantasize. It is your ability to daydream. Your mind's eye is your third eye. We all have it. We all have that capability to access it. You don't have to be spiritual, you don't have to be religious, you don't have to uh, prescribe to or, or follow or sign your card to any particular doctrine. You just have to be aware that the visions you're seeing every day are real. See, everything is attached to energy. We know that scientifically, this isn't woo-woo, this isn't um, dragons and fairies and unicorns. This is scientific evidence that's already been proven centuries ago. So what does that mean to your manifestation? Well, it means that that vision that you see that you want so much to manifest, you want this to come to fruition, already exists. How? What does that mean? Well, you see it. And since you see it, therefore, it is real. See, where we mess up, where we really get confused is when we overcomplicate it. Take this, for example. You are the soul within your human. And as the soul within your human, you're a dual being. The soul came first. And then you were conceived as a human being and you were birthed into this world, which is actually the fourth dimension that we vibrate in. Science says the third dimension. But we also know that we see visions. We see and receive and experience spiritual phenomenon, miracles, occurrences that happen all the time that defy human logic. And so if science says that this is the third dimension that we call life, 
then where are all of those other occurrences happening that defy this reasoning and human logic that we find in the third dimension that we call life? They are coming from dimensions above the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and beyond. You controlled your human to hit the play button and to watch it. That is a manifestation. Can you understand now how sometimes we play it so small and we settle for what we're taught that we're capable of in this third dimension that some call life? I teach that you are way above and beyond that. You are extremely intelligent and you are more than capable of manifesting your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams because you've done it before on a lower scale. And so, since we are in the fourth dimension that I and our spiritual superstars call life, we understand that we're pulling from the ethers, from the spiritual realm, visions that already exist because everything that we have in the third dimension started with a thought. Just like you're still watching this video from the thought of, hey, I want to watch this video. Okay, so when you apply that to something bigger, such as manifesting $10,000 manifesting your child's health or healing of a, a chronic disease or your own, um, beating cancer, beating systemic lupus, beating uh, the joint pain, um, manifesting your new home, manifesting a new car, um, manifesting your amazingly successful career, manifesting children, whatever it may be. You apply the same concepts that you actually apply every single day. Simple. But some people find it so difficult. Why? Well, one reason is the support. The number one reason why people don't uh, manifest and reach their goals is the lack of support. Studies have proven that time and time again and so being around like-minded uh, souls and, and people that are where you want to be and also the lack of, of faith we have to have faith in order to get to the next step you know faith is something we don't see we feel it we believe it and we believe in this thing that we have not received yet. We haven't experienced it yet. We can't touch it yet. It's not in our human sense, humanly logical. It's not here yet. It hasn't been birthed yet or created. But spiritually we know it exists intuitively we know there's some kind of a yearning for this thing to happen. We just have this understanding that cannot be defined by human logic that we can do this, that it does exist, even if we doubt that we can do it. It's possible, maybe even for someone else, even if we doubt that it's possible for us. So that faith is from something we've done before. Let's go back to the most simple example. You clicked on this video because you wanted to watch it. You manifested yourself watching it. And so we take that same faith in making something happen and we apply it to a bigger goal. We apply it to reuniting with the love of our life, for example. Let me share with you a story that might help you understand that.
faith is a huge part of manifesting. And faith is absolutely intertwined with our Creator. It is spiritual in every way. However, it can only be made real through our action in this fourth dimension that we call life. Through our physical action and movement and that desired strong will manifesting in actual steps that we take to make it happen. All at the same time, we're feeding faith, we're starving fear, we're taking another step forward. Years ago, in my very early 20s, I was in a very abusive relationship. I was, I didn't want to get married and make the wrong choice. I didn't know how to tell anyone that he was very abusive. And uh, my family and friends were saying, you know, when are you going to set the date? It's usually the guy that's dragging their feet. What's going on with you, Nikki? And um, I began to pray in a way that I hadn't prayed before. See, before I was praying superficially. Oh, Lord, please change him. Please let him stop seeing other women. Please let him stop um, being so mean and using drugs. And then one day I felt spirit urging me. I felt God calling me home to my parents' home. And I asked my mom, can I please uh, stay here for the weekend? And she said, sure, of course. So I went back and I slept in my old room and I started with that superficial praying again. Oh Lord, please just change him. Please let him stop using drugs. And I heard from the air that touched me to my core Are you going to stop playing with me? And I knew who that was. I was the only physical person, human being, in my bedroom. And that voice was as loud and clear as could ever be. It was God. It was Divine Source Spirit. And it shook me. It made me freeze. And I knew I needed help. I needed divine help. I needed help that I couldn't get from a person. And so I asked, Oh Lord, please help me. I don't want my will to be done because clearly it's wrong. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be praying for. I just know that I need help. I'm confused. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't want to mess up my life. I want to be here. I want to have children. I want to have a family. But I don't want to be in the wrong relationship. Just please help me. Please show me. I want thy will to be done. I submitted. I became very open to just receiving and asked for help. And these are the words that I was directed to say. Divine Source, please show me my spiritual guidance, the way that I can receive it. If you show me that you want me to marry him, I will do it. And I won't look back. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm already grateful. Thank you. I mean, I receive it. Thank you so much. I won't ever turn back. I will I will just I won't even think any other thing. I will be happy. I will be a good wife. I will be an excellent, you know, mother and all oh, the whole nine yards. And thank you so much. Just thanking God profusely. But if you show me that he is not the man for me to marry, 
I will turn away. I will walk. I won't take anything with me, not even my little dog. I won't, I won't hesitate. I will leave. And I won't turn back. And I'll be grateful. I'm so thankful right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for thy will being done. And spiritual superstars, just like that, a hush fell over my bedroom. You could hear a pin drop on the carpet. There was a stillness in the room that I had felt before. It was as if the air turned into the most comforting lullaby. It was the most comforting, secure blanket. It was the hand of God. Rocked me to sleep, and I slept like a baby for the very first time since I had moved out of my parents' home. That was the first time that I slept with both eyes closed. Normally I was sleeping with one eye open. I didn't know what to expect. When I woke up, I knew a shift happened. And certainly the next day I went home and Within, it was actually within hours because I was praying all night. I found, which was back then, uh, a VHS tape, which was like a DVD player of him and another woman in a hotel doing things they shouldn't have been doing. And so. The power that we have been gifted by our Creator is spiritual. It is not denominational, but it is our spiritual gifts. And it is, in huge part, our mind's eye, but it's all faith. And so we take that same faith and we apply it. To manifest that which we so desire. Well, I hope that that makes sense. And I'm just going to show you a few more scriptures here that let you know that what you think and what you are pouring your energy into does come real. It becomes real because it already is real. Everything that you have has come from a blueprint. That blueprint came from someone's mind, not their brain. Science has proven brain. We know what a brain looks like. We do not know what anyone's mind looks like. And so right after you look at these several scriptures from the Bible, I'm gonna share the reason why it may not be the best idea to share your vision with certain people. When we manifest, we manifest from our vision. That vision is your own. It is very pure, precious. Whether it comes in a dream, an epiphany, deja vu, a messenger that is a child, your spouse, a video, a friend, whether it's a message you hear coming from the ethers directly to you and through you. It is still sacred nonetheless. So protect it by being very careful 
with whom you share your vision with. Not everyone wants you to manifest that very thing that you hold near and dear to your heart and soul. Not everyone's heart is the same. And so once you share it, make sure that you are sharing it with a trusted soul, a confidant, someone that always will and always has had your back. That someone is our creator. God will always tell you who you can and cannot trust. Allow your ancestors to carry your vision forward as they work for us on the other side and help us by guiding us to our next step. Messengers of God, manifestations of God, our angels, our spirit guides, all of which are sent by the Most High. You are working with God, through God, for God, when you are manifesting that which is deeply in your heart and soul. Because no matter what anyone tells you out of their own pain or sadness, God wants nothing more for you than your happiness. Happy manifesting. Many blessings. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Stay safe and healthy, spiritual superstar. And be blessed.